Hey everyone, this is Natasha. I'm a product designer on Figma Buzz, and I'm really excited to do a quick demo for plugins. So plugins just launched today and it's available in Figma Buzz for people to use. You can actually find the entry point on our left navigation here. So if you hover over this icon, you'll see that it says plugins. And if you invoke that, there's going to be a slew of different plugins for people to use directly in Figma Buzz. And the use cases here range from digital asset managers to translation services, to animation, to get uh, create motion assets, or even QR code generators. Ultimately, we know plugins help you and your teams connect to your own workflows. So we want to bring that uh, and make it more extensible in Buzz today. One of my favorite ones is one called Brand Fetch. So I'm just going to quickly run this. And you can see that Brand Fetch is an uh, icon slash logo library where it aggregates different logos across the internet for different companies. So I'm trying to finish up this asset here that I have for a summer release notes uh, live stream, and I need to pull in a specific Figma logo. So I'm just going to use Brand Fetch to drag in this one symbol here uh, and place it on my asset. And then one thing I also really love about a plugin surface in Figma Buzz is the fact that you can open this in a modal separately. So this allows you to multitask, right? You can always visit our other um, insert types in the left navigation today, be it images or text and other objects. Um, and you can use your plugins simultaneously, which I do really love. And another thing I wanted to call out is you can also save your plugins. So if you really like, you know, brand fetch, for example, you can always save it and it'll show up in your recents and saved uh, filter here. So you can always make sure that your favorite plugins are easily accessible. Uh, so yeah, that's a very quick demo. Really excited for everyone to play with this more. And if you do have any feedback, please let us know.